today I'll look at how you can submit assignments. I'll go down to assignment 4.1 of our current assignments. Click on 4.1 linear regression homework and you can see I've got submit assignment up available to me when it's due number of points and when it will no longer be available for submission. To use to do the work I'm going to click on the blue link here and that will open up the spreadsheet for this assignment. However, this spreadsheet cannot be edited by you, by the student. This is my copy, this is the master copy of the spreadsheet, a template if you will. So you can't edit this particular file. If you try to edit it, you will wind up being asked if you want to edit the file and uh, I, if you edit this, you'll edit the master copy that every student sees. So what you have to do is go to File, Make a Copy. File, Make a Copy. A, a video that I'll get linked below covers how to do this on your phone. It's a, it's a good bit different on your phone because you don't have this menu. But on a laptop, as we are here, I can simply use File, Make a Copy. I can call it, give it whatever name I want to. I'll leave this as copy of 4.1 linear regression homework. Uh, I'll call it 4.1a just so I can maybe distinguish it later when I try to load it. Then I say OK. You'll notice I actually I'm opening a new tab. And this file, if you do it the way I did it, will actually be, if you look in the upper right, in your COM FSM G Suite drive. And that's where you want it to be. You want it to be in that G Suite drive. This will be what you can edit. It looks like the original, but as it says right here at the top, it's a copy. Now I can go ahead and work on my homework. Go ahead and do my homework. To add a chart, I can either insert a chart from here or insert from here. I've had a couple students say, the plus sign doesn't work. No, the plus sign inserts a comment. The plus sign refers to people working on a mobile phone. Again, they do not have a full menu. But I just go to chart. And there's the chart already done. I put that chart over here so I can see what I'm doing down here. See my questions. And then I'll, uh, the sample size equals. So I do my homework and do whatever I need to do to get the homework done. When I'm done doing the homework, uh, I, I just leave it. There's nothing to save. It's saved automatically here in this copy. So I go back to the Canvas tab that I was originally in. And here, all I do is click Submit Assignment. I could upload a file, but that's not what I'm doing today. You are linked to your Google G Suite Drive by this LTI 1.3 feature. So I'm going to go to uh, Google Drive LTI 1.3 and it will open up this window if you give it a couple minutes. This will load. It may load more slowly on a slower connection. At this point it's checking to make sure I want to that I'm in the right drive. I want to be in my college account at this point. The comfsm.edu.fm account. So I, I'm okay. I'm right where I want to be. I'll tell it select file and the Google Drive connection will come up and if I scroll this window down there's my 4.1 A I added the A because that way I won't get confused with all the other ones I've been playing with and there you can see my the the name the file that you see in this little window might not look exactly like the file I just worked on but indeed that is the file I worked on these thumbnails don't always update. That's okay. Uh, I, I know that's the file because of the name. I made the name unique. I'll simply say add and it will say attach. It will ask me. Asha, go ahead and attach it. And then I wait a moment. Do wait a little bit. It'll look like this. Now I'll, I, if I have any other comments, uh, you know, I did not understand or what uh, whatever comments I might have I can add them there and when I'm done adding the comments I say submit assignment it'll work for a while if you navigate away 
that's okay. It's no problem. This will continue going on. This is just a standard message. Canvas is currently processing your submission. You can safely navigate away from this page and it'll email you if the process fails. So I don't have to worry about that. So far the process hasn't failed. For me, I don't, your mileage may vary as they say. But I'll, I'll go ahead and say okay. I know I can navigate away from this page. And, and it takes me back to here. And on the right side you can see it says that I've submitted it. It's all right. My comments I might have made. Uh, if I want to resubmit the assignment, I can do so right from this same screen. So that's the core of the process. There's one subtlety I, I do want to, and I'm, I'll take you out of the uh, the student view for a, a moment here. We're going to leave the student view. And we're now in my view, the instructor's view. I'm going to go to a speed grader here. And go to down to my test student. This is the one I just, there's my file I just submitted. This is the view I see. This is what I see when I uh, look up a file. It will take me some time to load your file. It's loading actually a PDF conversion of the file. And so that will take me a few minutes. But I'll be able to grade it here and I'll be able to add any comments I have here. You'll notice one odd thing. The pictures appear on top of the graph. This is something I only recently discovered. And so in order for the pictures to not appear on top of the graph, I have to go back to here and move the graph off of the pictures, uh, anywhere off the pictures. Uh, the pictures are just decoration. You could even delete them if you wanted to. It doesn't matter. But uh, with it moved off of the pictures, then I could submit this file and it wouldn't uh, wind up looking like this, covered up. The graph will then appear where it belongs underneath the two pictures. And so I'd be able to submit that at this point and it would appear correctly. So if you ha if I put pictures, decorations, uh, to make the homework look a little less boring, if you will, or something more interesting to look at, don't put the graph on top of the pictures because the PDF will put the graph under the pictures and I won't be able to see the graph. But beside that small detail, that's all there is to submitting in the new system. All right. So there you go. That's a new submission system. Remember, you have to use file, make a copy. Do not request access. I won't be able to give you access because you're requesting access to the master file, the template. And that, that, that will mess up the file for all of the students. Well, I'll go ahead and test student... Uh, they did fine. They didn't know the graph would wind up underneath, and so uh, I'll leave it that way. Ask if you have questions.